What's up everybody, Grunfeld the Skull here for part two of our How to Travel in Dayok video series, I guess. Uh, we're going to do our VR travel today. Um, usually when you start in Big Boy RVR, you start at a portal keep. So we're here in... where are we at? The one... it's Fossid Fast, there we go. So, there's a couple of different ways that you can move around in RVR, get where you need to go. Um, there's always just running around, you know, example, you know, I'm a scald, so I can just run out and frolic freely in the forests if I want to. Or if you don't want to, you know, run around, or if you don't have a scald, or whatever, there's other faster ways to get around. Um, the main way to get around is these little teleporter stones. You right-click it, and you can teleport to various, uh, keeps. You can teleport to, like, Bloodmere Fast, Glenlog, Arv, and Fens. And like if you're in Albion, you can port to Bino, or Bino, Old, Renaris, Herbury, Hibernia, etc. All up in there. Um, so you know you just select the keep that you want to teleport to, and then you click teleport. We'll port to Bled as an example. And after about five seconds or so, you'll teleport and you'll be inside the CK. So you can get around quickly that way. But the catch is you have to have all four towers um, to be able to port. So if um, Albion, let's let's say Albs take that Blood Tower, Blood Tower one, then we can import to Blood because we don't have all four Blood Towers. So that kind of sucks. But usually, you know, you have all four towers. Sometimes, they, it, sometimes they'll say, well, they cut port to this. When, when they say cut port, that means they took a tower, so you can't port there anymore. And so that, that's like cutting reinforcements. Um, oh yeah, since we're at Blood, I might as well show you the other way. Uh, Right here. There's boats too that you can take, kind of like the PVE boats. Hopefully we don't get killed. I'm, I'm probably going to because I'm solo, but I'm a scald, so I'm hoping not. But you can take boats kind of like, um, kind of like in the, yeah, I'm getting shot at. Ow, 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 ow. Phase shift for the win? Okay. Oh yeah, these guys got me covered. Thank you, avoidance of wind. A little salute action there. But yeah, let's yeah see. They they can buy. A, they're gonna buy a boat here. I'll I'll just hop on their boat. So you can buy boats to various locations. Um, these ones actually cost money, but it's like fifty silver. So you know it's it's no biggie. Um, are they gonna buy a boat? I don't know if these guys are gonna buy one. Sorry, I had to talk to my gilly there, but I don't know if these guys are going to buy it. Okay, I'll buy a boat. Where are we going? We're going to Albion. Let's do this. Ticket to Albion. Oh, uh, dude, go figure they would buy a boat. But same thing, you buy your ticket, you, you put it on the boat. Okay, they're going to crash. And to get on the boat, same thing. You just target it, hit G on your keyboard, and that puts you inside of it. And this boat is automatic. But if you want to get off the boat, type slash MO for man overboard. As always. Ooh, there's a ladder here, I forgot. There's, there's like an expressway up. You can, you can climb this ladder here on the docks. And there's other boats too. And since I'm getting shot at, I'm, I, I might as well demonstrate them. You can buy these like little battle boats. But, ow. Bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, who is shooting me? I see you down there. Stupid lurking. Thinking you're all that in a bag of chips. Ooh, look at me. I'm a lurking. You know what? I'm a scald. You ain't got. Ain't got nothing on me. Okay. Oh, dude, do I not have an endo pot? Okay. I ha I hadn't planned on being, you know, attacked by lurkings, but we'll find somewhere to put this boat. Okay. Where's my scald speed? Oh, cool. Yeah, heal me up. Okay, cool. So it's uh. A little more going on today than I thought. Okay, but basically you can buy those boats on page two. Okay, I'm probably gonna get attacked over here too. There's stealthers everywhere over here in Midgard. They seem to like to hang out in Midgard. Like every time I go to like Benowick or the Hib one, it's like uh, you know, 
But same thing, you know, you, you, you hit G on your boat, what are these hook points? Oh no, these are just different places to sit. Same thing, kind of like the TOA boats. These, these function just like the TOA boats. You can drive them around. You know, they, I don't think, it doesn't seem like they go as fast, but no one hardly ever uses these kind of boats. Most people just stick to the usual, normal, um, just like 50 silver boat tickets that function like a horse or whatever, you know. But that's the other way to get around. And there's one more thing I gotta cover, and I should have covered that before I, um, before I came out here to lead, but that's okay. Uh, you can you can port to the relic towns too if you uh well yeah we'll check that out but basically um there's little towns here you see Mueller fast there's a town kind of like east that's east east of Mueller fast and you know the relic towns have little merchants and stuff that sell uh you know siege supplies wood so you can repair stuff if you want to load up before you go and there's a dock over there too by the relic tans. We'll leave that there, it makes it look like a cool viking ship. I was getting ready to land at Bled. So that'll add some ambiance to the uh, usual fighting. I bet that Lurkeen's kind of mad they didn't get to kill me, but I'm a Scald. You, know, you, you really can't kill Scalds. Well you can, but it's a little more tricky. So again, you know, you can leave too, you can port from the port stones uh, here. So if you're at Bled and you have all four towers, you can port back to Spossed Fast. So we'll port back to Spossed Fast. And you can port to, we don't have port in Albion or Hibernia right now, but if you did have, example, let's say if we had Dun Crouchen and all four Crouch Towers, then we could port to Dun Crouchen from Spossed Fast, which, which comes in handy. There's Buster. Check this, this, is, this guy here, right here, he's a PvE fanatic. Check him out. Look at that dragon armor. You can tell he loves the PvE. That's what pulling a buster is for uh, those who didn't catch up last video. Okay, um, okay, here we go. Here are here's the little Chandler person for the relic towns. I'm assuming that in Albion and Hibernia they have one too. But as you can see, here's the relic town. You know they have uh, various merchants. You can buy poisons. Um, what's a bounty master do? Oh, you can buy bounty point items from this dude. Um, you know, there's rechargers, and you can buy a die here, too. I've never really been here. I've never really had a reason to come here. But you can buy water breathing pods if you need some ghetto pods. Um, and I'm pretty sure, like I said, there's vendors here for, like, wood and siege equipment. Yeah, see, here we go. Here's the siege guy. So you can buy wood here, so you can stock up if you're going to be defending or attacking stuff. So that way, uh... You know, you've got wood to repair stuff, get you some bounty points, keep the door closed, all that. And here's a little port stone, too, so you can port back out to Swasted Fest. And those are the basic ways to get around. Like I said, um, most of the time you're going to be using those little teleporter stones. Or just running around with uh, Scald or Bard or Minstrel Speed. Um, that's, usually, that's, that's usually how you get around in RVR. Uh, it's kind of like the basics there, but there's going to be more videos to come. I think uh, I'm going to do another RVR video here soon. I should have done some recording the other day because it was pretty action packed, but I just, it's based me. But as always, stay tuned for more every, you know, two, three days. And thanks for the subscriptions and the comments and all that stuff, guys. Take care. Bye.